Good morning everyone, it's Rachel here and we are doing what's in my box and it's really early. I haven't even been to the post office yet but I thought I would come on, I'm all organised and do my video today. Right now, not well, obviously today but I mean now. So I have all manner of things here. Here's a piece of scrapbooking paper, I could do one of those. Um, got lots of envelopes there. Oh. That's the collage page that I had stamped on. Mm -hmm. And this is, oh, that was going to be one of those. Let's do one of those. Okay. All right. Oh, man, I might do a bit of Christmas today, I think, because I need more things as per usual. So let's start with this one. I'm going to back that with you know, some sort of paper. We go. I've got a bag of plain papers here, so or plainish papers. So let's just use one of these from a book. Oh, I might do something different with those. It's a bit shiny. I don't know why I kept that. There we go. Ooh. Okay, <laughs> sorry. Right, so let's glue this on. I'll put the glue on here. Oh my gosh, I've got to get my act together. I'm not normally in here so early. So how is everyone today? I hope you're all well and you're going to have a good day or you've had a good day. You're winding down for the evening. So as I'm starting my day, I think most of you in the US are asleep. In the UK, you're I think one hour behind or two hours I can't remember and Australia is is ahead all different time zones right let's see if we can make this look a bit more Christmassy it's more I think it's a bit more autumn isn't it but anyway we will do our best I probably need to just um, grab some Christmas papers. Here we go. Oh, these are good. Okay, I've got Christmas papers. And I also have papers that I be doodling on that I might use. Let's see. I just used um, alcohol ink pens and just wrote really quickly on them. There, I mean, it's very easy. going to cover up all of the scrapbooking paper and then we're going to put something there I'll just move those I'm just going to be shuffle the paper from left to right one of those days I think let's put the scissors over here I have a big pile of paper for gluing on here and it's it really is bothersome it takes up a lot of space okay this is getting lighter and lighter I I keep using everything which is a good thing because it's there to be used. Okay, let's go to the. Um, do I want an image or I might like a fussy cut or her? Oh, I think I might like that one. I think I'll cut that one out. Let's not take all day to make a decision. I'll get my little scissors first. Oh, yeah, I'll cut those. Oh, no, I oh, yes, I'll cut those out. They take two seconds. I was going to color them in, I could color them in also with my um, Tombow pen, but I'll just cut them out. There we go.
See, I'm just wiggling my paper around rather than the scissors. Oops. Okay, and that is going to go there. Oops, and I ripped a piece off, oh well. Good. I think I'm going to cut this into a tag shape. Now I can be, you can be more precise like this and then flip it over the other way and cut it. Sometimes I just eyeball it. And I didn't get it. I need to cut a bit more. There we go. And then I think I'm going to, where's my, oh yeah. I'm going to, I've got my box of um, Christmassy trims here, and I'm going to put something on top. That one. I think I might use this one. Now it's a wired, this my scissors, a wired gold one, but. I like to take the wire off. If I can get it, there it is. You don't want that poking out and you know hurting anyone. And then just put a little bit of glue here to hold it in place and then I'm going to staple it. Oh, look at that. And I turned that autumn paper into more Christmassy sort of paper there and there we go and there I could put let me just grab my washi tapes oh no why don't I just glue a piece of paper I could just glue a piece of paper there um, maybe a piece of this to cover the staple just so don't catch your finger on there There we go. Oh, I love that. Good. Okay, let's do something with this. This was just from a fat quarter fabric I got a long time ago. Oh my goodness, I've got problems. We are just going to cover that. So I could, actually that could be a really, normally I make them side tucks, like you know, put them on the edge of the page, side tuck here, side tuck there, but I think I might put it as a journaling spot. I think that's going to be good. So let's do some sort of collaging. We'll start with maybe some book page. Do I have any book page here? Got lots of things sticking out here. Well, that's a good piece of paper. We'll use that. Let's use that. Book page. Let's see if we can use a bit of this stuff.
Okay. I'm literally just going to glue that there, but first I'm going to put this here. I am going to make it a bit more, oh yes, this is going to be good, a bit more Christmassy. So I'm going to put that one first. And do it um, while it's flat because otherwise if you do it folded then when you open it up it's going to get a ridge on the where the crease is so you want to do it oh my god sticking to everything i can even have a little bit of the edge showing because it's a nice craft paper i'm wondering why that's all sticking to each other well, just, it's time for that one to go i've been gluing on it for quite a few days Get your pieces out of the glue bits, Rachel. Oh, yeah. Mm. Okay. If I'll get rid of these. They're sticking to everything. Okay. I wanted to put that one there, so I just trim the bottom off. So I'm really doing a very neutral sort of background here that can then um, be decorated any way you like. And that I'm going to put there. might do is just straighten up those edges. I don't want to tear them because I'd tear too much off so I'm just going to have straight edges on that one. And I'm going to put it like that. I forgot to leave that, move that in so I could see the nice craft edge but it doesn't matter. So that is decorated. Remember, it's going to be folded. That's nice for writing. Um, so I need to see how am I going to make it a little bit more Christmassy. Let's see my papers over here. I think I might put that piece there like that oops and maybe a bit of green I cannot believe how time is flowing. It's just, we're already, it's already Halloween. Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's see what will we put. I oh know she's on that side, so I want, I'm wondering if I might like one of these. 
think I would. Let's try that. I love these. Oh, and I'm going to put that there or up there. Oh, no, I think I like it down there. Okay, get rid of that piece. And get rid of this piece that's been glued on for days. else could be fun what I might do is if you didn't I mean obviously I got this from a packaging but um, you might um, have some craft paper that you could oh I need to wait for it to dry I never learned the lesson let's wait for it to dry I'm gonna punch the edge I'll wait for it to dry and then we'll do it okay we'll move on to the next thing while we wait for that oh my goodness can't help myself here's just a plain thing we can do a little Christmas tag with. I have this piece. Yep, I believe that bit. Use up your scraps. Not big enough. Oh, that's good for the back of a tag. Get all my blobby bits and put them in the middle and smoosh them out. Okay, wrap that around and we need a little something down here. About a piece of this one. Again, just done with the alcohol, oh, it's not long enough, alcohol marker. Okay. Okay. So we have a little tag here. I might make it a little journal card. I'm just going to snip my corners. find a focal point for it. I still haven't printed things out again. I'm hopeless. Oh, that's cute. I might put that one on there. Oh, snappy decisions today. I'm just going to wiggle around. Sometimes I like to tear, cut these with the tear ruler and then you get that sort of um, wobbly edge, but I'm not going to do that today. It's going to wiggle around like that. So to be obviously a bit smoother than what it should be, but that suits me just fine. I'm just considering whether I might like to put a little trim at the top. Um, I think I'll punch a hole. And we might 
put, I have some narrow trims. I've just got to find them. What's that? Oh no, that's too, here's a little one. Oh, that's too little, I think. Let's see. Oh no, that's cute. I think I'll staple that. Oh yeah, that's really cute. I like that. Good. Okay. So there we go. That one's done. Let's see what else we have. Oh, a long, well, I'd like to do a long, narrow one. So... I might glue them on there. That'll be quick. Oh, oh my goodness, the blob of glue, it's really, really happening. I'm gonna hold it up there oh, there with it there they are let's see if I can manage it Oh yes, cute, I like that. Some scraps. And we're going to, I think, I think I might punch the top of that. So I'll put that aside with the other one. And that one needs to be, have the punching at the top. And I think that will be it. So let's put these over here because they need to be completed. Just, they're just envelopes. I don't know why they're there. They can go up in the ephemera box. That's an envelope. I need more. Let's make this a journaling spot. I'm going to fold it that way because that's already got um, nice paper ready to go. So... with that oh gosh look at all though I've got lots of um I've got a lot of um trying to get my words out collage pages here that can be finished up as well hmm. let's use some of these papers Let's do a bit of collaging on here. A bit of vintage notebook. Okay. 
so where I'm thinking where I'm going to put it and I chose the edging there because I want to put it there okay whoops making a mess and then I think here I'm going to have a bit of gold So doing our traditional collaging style here. Need a bit of green. Mm, that would be very nice there. That's the nice thing about digitals is you can use them for your collaging purposes or print them up as pages. Choose bits and pieces, print them out again, and it's all good. Again, this is a vintage piece of paper. It's not old, but it's vintage. I might put that there yes um, and so it's got a nice um, coloring to it so I have no issues with um, seeing the edges of the underneath paper and then I'm thinking I was going to use that but maybe I might fussy cut that out I'm thinking and I would like a piece of my little that go to there okay I didn't did I didn't get any glue under there I don't think so let's see just let it dry a minute oh my gosh I never get glue to my corners I'm terrible Sometimes I just come back and put a bit of wet glue under there. Let's see if this is probably not dry enough yet. Where did I put the punch? Oh, over there. Let's see. Oh, I did it. Yes. Okay, good. I'm very impatient. <sighs> Such hard work. I made the hard work noises. Oh. Okay, that's there. So that needs to go there. Oh, I did it. Cool. And then I'm going to fold it in. I'm going to actually fold it like that. Like that. Good. And then snip. There and there. And I might just cut that little bit off because I think that bit will go curly and I'll cut that bit off. And I'm going to grab my bone folder and just... I mean, it's very neutral, but I really like it. There we go, so I put that one aside. And this one, I'll just get a different punch, I think, to not have everything the same. And I'm going to use this one. Actually, this might fit in my other one, just a second. I never use it, I forget about it. Let's do it in this one. So it I just sort of center it in there. Well, I hope it doesn't chop their heads off. Let's see. Oh, no. Oh, look at that. There we go. That's different. I haven't done one of those. There we go. Good. 
and I said I was going to punch that one but I'll wait a bit a while but we haven't decorated it yet so oh isn't that pretty I really like that oh yes I like that I was going to fussy cut this but I wanted to see I don't know if it will fit I'm just going to whiz around sort of vaguely around it says she as I go in for a bit more cutting so I'll use these scissors for these more intricate bits and then I'll get my big scissors and just go around those straight bits I'm going to snip that off because I don't want a little spindly piece like that I may trim, actually I think I will trim more off. Okay. I kind of like it, but it's, it, it is covering up all that writing and I don't want to do that. So I'll use that somewhere else. And um, I think Oh, what about one of my Christmas labels? We haven't had those out yet today. Let's see. Which one takes my fancy? Maybe that one. Do I want the bigger one or that one? I'll cut them both out. Won't take long. Because I was going to use one of the other labels in the other book, but um, I've used one of those, so I thought maybe I'll use one of these. Now the sun's shining actually I didn't mention I had my over my lights on um, because it was a bit dark in here when I came in the you know the light hadn't come around yet so um, yeah you might it's a bit more yellowy than normal so that one's too big I just want to double check oh I could have one of the oh or one of the no that's introducing blue we don't have any blue on this but I might like this one so let's just cut that one out where it takes up time now, it saves time later. Because I know I'll use it in another job if I don't use it now. Another video. And um, no, it blends in too much. Oh, I love those ones as well. Like this size. See, I have to audition everything. And I bet you I go back. What's the bet? I go back to the first one. Oh no, that one's that way. Nope. And then that one. Oh, I could have that one. Nope. Going back to my first choice. There we go. How about that? I'm going to put that there. I don't want to cover all of that up. Slide it down that there. Now what I would like to do is find, where's my other punch? Is that it? No, that's not it. It's in here. I want this one. Hopefully it's going to work. Hopefully it's dry enough because you know I'm impatient. I need to show you. Yes. Oops, it moved. It's okay. Right, I got to, because it I, I jiggled it, it got that little bit, but you just snip it off. I don't even know. Oh, I love that. See? Just makes a nice little edge. And we can thank the wonderful Sharon Hearth for
for all of her punching that she does that she got me onto it and a nice journaling spot there not going to put anything on the back whoever has this in their journal can do I mean I like that there mm. I could put that there and just snip that bit off no no I'll leave it leave it okay all right so that is it for today I have this journaling spot this one love that with the edge you could tie a bit of um, something around it. You could also, um, if you had like some bits and pieces of ephemera, I don't have any anything in front of me now. I have this. Like you could fold bits and have them, you know, do one of those. Have those poking out sort of thing, if you know what I mean. Um, you know, stuff like this. You could put that in there. Oh, I might leave that in there. I like that. And maybe not. I've only got string here, but not that thick this string this is a good one and then just do something like that oh yes yeah, that's very nice very nice and tie a bow and stick it in a pocket oh I might have to make more of those I like those so that's silly how one you know a couple of simple little things and then they look really pretty so that's that 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 and that tag and that one so I hope everybody has a wonderful day and you enjoyed that and there might be something there that might inspire you even though you don't have the same things in your box as I have in my box. But you can have similar things that you could then go and create something. So um, anyway, we will be back again to do more next week um, with the What's in My Box and tomorrow is Jern Roxy's Journal of Stitchery. So have a wonderful day and I am heading off to the post office. Bye.